Hi everyone, it's Kerry Rao here on day two of the five day, five ways ditch and switch contest. And I'm going to show you how to make the soft scrub with the Thieves All Purpose Cleaner. So what you're going to need is your Thieves All Purpose Cleaner, distilled white vinegar, baking soda, and lemon essential oil. Um, it makes a pretty big batch. I have glass containers. This happens to be a small one because I have to replace somebody's because I gave her the wrong recipe. So um, I'm gonna do three small jars. You can put it in a big jar, you can put it in small. Um, I usually keep it separate too because I like to keep one in the bathroom and then I like to keep one in the kitchen. So you're gonna start with three quarters of a cup of the Thieves um, All Purpose Cleaner. You're gonna do all the liquid first. So that's the cleaner. Then you're going to do one tablespoon of distilled vinegar, which I actually, my measuring thing is a half of tablespoon, so I'm going to use two. I couldn't find my one tablespoon. So it is only one tablespoon of white vinegar, distilled white vinegar. And then you're gonna do 30 drops of lemon essential oil, if mine would come out. Okay, that was 30. And then you're going to incorporate the baking soda slowly, and it calls for three cups of baking soda. So what you wanna do is actually stir it in with a fork. So I'm gonna do one cup in slowly, and you're just gonna pour that in, and mix that around. You'll see it starts to incorporate. I'm going to do my second cup. I'm like, of course, it doesn't want to come out so easily. Let's just break this up a little bit. I'm like, I've done this for a few um, make and take parties, and it is very important that you put a label on them because everybody goes, oh, Oh, soft scrub. They thought it was for their face. Not that it probably couldn't hurt your face, but um, it's a cleaner. <laughs> so definitely, um, if you're going to do it for a make and take or give it to somebody, just put a label on that says soft scrub, um, all purpose clean or something like that. So then you'll see it kind of gets a little lumpy. I know my Sorry, but the lighting is a little bad in here. Um, yes, I am in my bathroom. I'm hiding from everybody. So you'll see, you're just gonna incorporate it all. You wanna get all those bubbles out. You wanna get any lumps. So that's why using a fork is good because you're kinda just kinda mashing it down a little bit. Um, and that's it. So you're gonna incorporate that. Let me see if I could check that light, put this light on and see if you can kinda see it better. It almost looks like pudding. <laughs> um, and that's it. So you're going to just stir that around, make sure there's no lumps. Get everything nice and incorporated in there. Put it in your containers. It shouldn't be watery, actually. Somebody had made it and it was on the watery side, so I kind of feel like if it is looking a little watery, just add a little bit of baking soda. You kind of want it to be on the um, thicker side, you know, not... That light's probably better, right? You know, de definitely not liquidy. And then you'll put that in your jars. And like I said, you can use it on your tile. I use it on my coffee pot. I use it on my regular stainless steel pots. Um, I've seen people use it on the cooktops on the stove. Um, and really, that's it. So um, nice and easy. And don't forget to comment and enjoy your day. See you all soon. Bye.